Okay, hello folks, and welcome to a tutorial episode of TechIt. This is Joe Ruckus here, as usual. Obviously, if it wasn't me, someone's hacking my damn account. Y'all should watch out for that. Okay, so, to build a power core, we are going to need combustion engines to start with, red alloy wire, a lever, gold waterproof pipe, waterproof teleport pipe, wooden conductive pipes, power teleport pipes, golden conductive pipes, a wrench, and lamps. really doesn't matter what color. I mean, to tell you the truth, you really don't even need the lamps. They're more for looks. You just need something for filler to run your red alloy wire on. But the lamps just make it look better. I mean, I'm saying. You'll see. Okay, so let's take combustion engines. Conductive pipe, gold conductive pipe, power teleport pipes, hose, this. Um, I guess we can wait till the end to put that in. Just like that, and that, and the wrench. Okay. Now, the size that you want to build really depends on you. Um, well, actually, more importantly, it depends on your ability to produce gas and your ability to pump water. If you can't pump a lot of water and you can't pump a lot of gas, then you're probably going to have to stick to another source of power until you have the means to do so. Um, gas is really not that hard to get. Um, after you've been playing for a while, you, you can make you an oil fabricator. Um, I really don't like going and finding all this damn oil. That's just, it's not fun. Who really wants to find all that oil? <sighs> Tired. Alright. So, let's begin. We can start by going... One. Two. Three. Four. And five. That there. That there. That there. And the golden conductive pipe here. Take your wrench. Okay, there's one part. Now well, let's just go ahead and do it this way. One, two, three. Put one here. You do this right, you can get them all to face the right way without the wrench. But it's all about, you know, the order that you place them. Really not that big of a deal. If you're to the stage where you're going to be building one of these power cores, you're obviously going to be able to make a damn wrench. Okay, let's make the last side. One, two, three. One of these in the middle here. Ah, uh, damn it. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Something's not right here. Ah, damn it. Messed it up. Alright. Well, let's try doing this again. Hell. Make sure I don't mess up.
go. That should look a little bit better. No, it actually won't. Damn it. You know what? Let's just place the damn engines down. Alrighty, there you go. Alright, now that you got that, you go ahead and add your lamps. But you can't place them right on the blocks. So you have to start on top of one of the pipes. And just work your way around. This is the first time I've ever used black lamps to do this. I usually use bright colors. Green, light blue, stuff like that. Alright, now what you want to do is you're going to want to put you some red alloy wire all the way around. Be careful to make sure that when you're doing it, you actually do put it on all the walls that it needs to go on. Otherwise, you're going to have a short somewhere and you're probably not going to be connected 100%. So if you try to change the size of this thing, that's one thing you're really going to have to watch for. Because like I said, this thing can really be made any size. This thing can be made freaking huge if you want to. Okay. Let's go ahead these up here yeah the next few cores are always easier because you already know where everything's got to be placed so everything should line up just fine around here anymore. We can go ahead and hook these up. Next few combustion engines down.
Let's get them all turned the right direction here. Right, right, right. Not right. There we go. Good, good, good. Not good. Okay, there's that. Now let's start with your piping. This is very important not to mess this one up, people. Very important. Okay, there you go. Now what we're going to have to do is make sure that all of your wiring is going to, or all of your piping is going to be right. Just take you a yellow block and a blue block. It really doesn't have to be gold and diamonds. It's just they're right there. I can pull them right out. So that's what I usually use. Okay, start from one of these points here. So you got gas, water, Alright, there you go. So now you know which one's going to be which. Then you need to know the frequency. Make sure that you know the frequency that you're pumping on. I do know mine. I am pumping gas on 200 and water on 100. And now we wait for them to fill up. Take this time to place your lever. Look at that power. Now what we're going to have to do is set us up a power teleport pipe. Now, just for the purpose of showing you how much power this actually makes, I'm not going to run it to, like, one of my, you know, machines that's running now. Because I don't want to pull that much power. So, let's set this to frequency. Nine hundred. Okay, now I'll go ahead and skip through all this part. I want to show you how much it's actually producing when all these motors are green. Okay, folks, as you can see, while I was waiting for it to heat up and everything to turn green, I went ahead and built a second core on top. It's really simple. All you do is take any block, whatever block you want, and stack between here. And then build the second one just like I built the first one. Everything will be a little bit easier to line up, though, with the second one because you already got your whole pattern down here. Alright, let's go ahead and see how much power we're pulling off of one being totally green. Let's get some fiber cables. Go ahead and run one here. Alright, let's see how much power that's pulling. Oh yeah, look at that. That's with one of them at green. <laughs> okay. That won't take long to fill up. Let's go ahead and fire up this second core. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at that power. OK, 
Okay, let's go ahead and hook up these other two. See how fast we can pull. I'm not quite as fast with that one. Just go ahead and take those off. There we go. Oh, getting a little bit of lag. Oh yeah, wait till these ones go green. We'll really be pulling some power. Okay, now all of our engines are cranking out at green. Let's see how much power we're pulling now. Break that link. Let's go to an empty one. Check that out. Oh, yeah. And what's transferring into these is actually just a fraction of the power that it's putting out. I could probably get almost the same output even if I connected this to something else. But yeah, that was the tutorial on how to build a power core. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll bring you all some more tutorials of some more cool stuff that we've done or that I'm going to do with this base. <laughs> Alright, you all have fun. Goodbye.